Hello, if you happen to be an Office 365 subscriber, then Microsoft PowerPoint now includes a fantastic new feature called Morph. This is a demonstration of how to use Morph. This took just a couple of minutes to do and it includes no animations at all. no animations. Here's a tutorial showing you just how it's done. So here we are from start to finish making what looks like a sort of three-dimensional tour through the solar system and there are just so many amazing ways of using this new morph tool. So st uh, straight away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my layout to blank and I'm going to format the background and put a picture on there and I'm going to use the star background. There we are. Next, what I'm going to do is insert some pictures. So I'm going to insert the three planets, which you see there. Um, and then I'm going to roughly size them. So we're going to have... Venus there, we're going to have Earth a little bit bigger and then we're going to have Mars about half the size of Earth. There we are. So I'm just going to plonk those in the middle there and uh, we can line them up if we want to so they're vertically in line. Um, there we go. Now once we've created that scene what we're going to do is duplicate this slide on the left here and I can do that by pressing Control D and that duplicates that slide. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and what I'm going to do is zoom in first of all on Venus here. So this means that these two planets here are going to shoot off to the right hand side. Now remember I'm not having to insert any animations, all I'm going to do here is simply highlight those two planets and because I want to keep them all in the same alignment I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to just simply throw those off to the right hand side. I want them to fly off to the right hand side. So I'm not inserting any animations, I'm just putting them where I want them to end up. I then click on Venus and again I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to keep everything in line. And in fact, if I hold down the shift key and I use the right hand arrow key, I can make that image a bit larger. So we've zoomed in on that image. OK, next I'm going to duplicate this new slide again. So we're on to slide three. And what I'm going to do now is again zoom out of Venus. And using the arrow keys, I'm going to fly that off to the left hand side and click on Earth. And I'm going to fly this into the middle and holding shift and the right arrow key, I'm going to zoom in on it. And then again, I'm going to duplicate that slide. Then I want Earth to zoom out and fly off to the left hand side. So again, all I'm using are the arrow keys on my keyboard here. Nothing else, I'm not using any animations. So now I want Earth, uh, sorry, Mars to fly in from the right hand side. Um, and then we'll zoom in on Mars. And then all I'm going to do is I want to zoom back out to all three planets. So I'm going to duplicate that first slide and pop that at the end. There we are. Simple. Now, how do we get all the animations and movement to happen? Well, all I'm going to do is head up to transitions. No, not animations. It's slide transitions that we want. Here's Morph. So I'm going to click on Morph, 
And then what I'm going to do is change apply to all. So I'm applying the morph transition to all slides. Okay, that's it. I'm done. So now if I play the presentation, there is my slide one. And if I progress to slide two, then what happens is the planets zoom off to the right hand side and we zoom in to Venus. And then if I progress to the next slide, then we zoom in on Earth. And it's almost like a parallax effect. And then, of course, we're zooming in on Mars. And then finally, I can zoom back out to all three planets. So all three objects are appearing to uh, move independently. And in fact, I can go backwards through the presentation exactly the same way and zoom in again on any particular item I like and then zoom out again to all of them. So that was incredibly quick. Literally, as I say, something you can throw together in just a couple of minutes. Now, I know I had some text on my demonstration, but that was exactly the same idea. All I did was put the text boxes just on the outside of my slide. And when I wanted the text box to fly in, I'd move that into place and then fly it out off the top. So it's just simply a case of putting all the elements that you want in your presentation all together in the first slide and if you don't want them visible just throw them off to the side somewhere and then just slide them in when you want them to appear. Now that's a really really quick tutorial um, I hope you found that interesting I will probably do another couple of demonstrations of the morph tool using things like uh, text as well which can make it look almost like a Prezi type of presentation. Um, I think it's a really good tool. I think it's going to be really helpful for people to create more dynamic presentations more easily. So if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, please do give the video a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I do respond to, as far as I am aware, every single comment or question that people put down. Um, thank you very much for watching. Do consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.